this video is basically for beginners it is a full explanation of tools that you can find on pixel lab i'll start from the left hand side to the right hand side for this upper part this back button is just for you to reverse the action you took last so let me use this text on the screen to explain that now let's say we deleted it by mistake we can use this button here to reverse our action so the second one which is addition button in a in a magnifying glass it means you want to zoom what you are dealing with so if i do like this now can you see it's just to zoom you can zoom up to 500 percent so let's return it back to the normal screen which is 100 so after zooming in or out you have to click that tab again once to balance what you are doing now the next one is just grid lines for you to edit your grid lines you have to click on this uh down button here which is for setting if you want to increase it maybe you want six by six lines you click this last part then you set it to any number you want it to be let's say you want six by six you see just erase and add now you have six by six horizontal and vertical so you click ok can you see it has increased if you want to shift it just put your hand on each line and drag let's say we want to create safety lines you can just drag to this end to this end it's just to guide your design so as we move into this course deep, deeply i'll show you more use usage of these grid lines now we've checked that let's off our grid lines the next one is for you to know the number of layers you have this for layers so layer means the test icons anything you input into your pixel lab but it won't include the background only the element you include maybe test let's add another test now you see that the layer will become two text you see we are having two tests now so the layer becomes two this layer you can see four options there the first one is a lock button which is a bad lock if you lock down an element you cannot move it your hand will not touch it can you hear pa, pa, pa. so it won't move but if you click it again it can now move from left to right or anywhere you want it by choosing it with your clicking now other options there is for you to edit either you want to edit the test or delete it can you see that one has disappeared so the other one is just to hide it if you click that i can suit it means you want to hide your element or layer the last one is delete so i've explained that now let's say we're having two layers and you want to merge so as we dip deeper we're going to explain that this one at the bottom here is for you to to do some other things now that i've clicked it you can take the box six and then you do the action maybe delete merge or edit so when you click on this one that shows two arrow coming together it will ask you do you want to match if you click ok it will turn it into one object so can you see so let's reverse that action for our layer to become two again so if you mistakenly do that you can still reverse your action like that now the next one is a plus button with no circular shape so if you click it now you can see what you can add current date sticker shapes from gary draw test so all those ones are not so much necessary you can still use other options in your pixel lab to get your test and sticker is not that useful shapes also you can use it to get your shape in so it's just to add any element as you want now this one after designing this is what this is the icon you are going to click here so this one will tell you what to do is it to save as project or to save as image saving as project means you want your work to be under here so if you click here now yeah if you click that side you will see one folder image here if you click it you see your previous works the one you save as projects can you see the ones you've done earlier you, you want the ones you've designed earlier so you can see all of that so that one is just for you to select either as project or as image if you save it as image it will appear in your gallery on your phone but if you save as project it will appear on this pixel app app as simple as that so let's go to the next thing if you look at this you know what this means which, which is what a share button do you want to share it directly you have facebook twitter 
her google plus whatsapp instagram and so on and so forth so all those ones is just for you to select where you want to share to this one is just quotation they add some quotes into your pixel and those ones i don't really i don't use it so it's not it's just there for you to create something maybe you just want a quick test just to practice your maybe you are practicing quotation you can use that to just get some test into your uh, you into your design or maybe you want to prepare something but you don't know the exact test that should be there you can just use that one to represent it now this last three dots if you click it you can now see more options now we have use image from gallery that means you want to use background as an image from gallery so now if you click on use image from camera you see what happened last time so it will change your app to camera so you can snap what you want to use if you click on full screen it will change your design to full screen to see how it looks you can still click, click here to get it back and all that things here you can just see what it feels like by exploring the app export image image size that's where you can have some default uh size custom size is there square profile picture square youtube channel banner youtube thumbnail facebook cover art google plus cover photo so this is just an introductory part for you to be familiar with all these options now going to the next part which is alphabet a this alphabet a is just for you to edit your test if you click on these styles it is not that necessary but if you have a special form of test that you've spent enough time on maybe you had some effects to it you can just use it to save it there and it will just, by clicking save it will be there so do you want to save, save this i don't want to save it, so i'll cancel it but if you want to choose from what you have on your pixel lab already you can just click style and browse if you click browse it will bring, bring some sample so let me use this can you see so it gave me what is already there now as a test but it's not that necessary if you know how to do it you don't need to use default test so now if you have done that you can still reverse your action reverse your action you can edit your test you can delete just as we have at the upper part copy to front to back that means you are sending when you send something to front it means it will now appear at the top you can also use your hand to hold this dot dot part and drag if you drag it it will change the part where your uh can you see to back to front to back to front so it will change the position if it is plenty now if i click to front it will take it to the upper part if i take click to back it would send it back in your design now we have some other things here to test color but we can't just start explaining everything one by one if you start learning designing now you will get everything fully so this one here this one that looks like a uh, an hexagon a hexagon you see sticker import import is just for you to bring an image directly from gary not as a background but as a as a as a as a picture so like this flyer that i did for this event it is now coming in as a as an object so we don't need that yeah i just use that as an example we have shapes which you can input i also we explain that one later in our, our our subsequent lessons so bezier 2 is also under this place whereby you can add more you can add just to trace something or to draw a to to trace any shape you want to get it out into your design or even to create lines in your design arrow is also here it's just to create something can you see it's just to create arrows in your design so they are just a quick action too so now the next part is this uh setting for your background you can use color if you click on color that's where you can change your background to either gradient or normal color can you see that's for color transparent means you don't want it to have a background maybe you just input a picture and for you to just uh remove the background so if you are saving you can't use background for it again you have to click transparent so let's reverse the action back back so image size is just for you to set the size of the image that you are using as the background so if you input an image as a background now let's say we are using okay this default image from gallery now you can have images from your gallery just to serve as your background okay let's pick one from downloaded so if i input this now it will come as another type of design so i need to crop but it's not working now let's check can you see so if i want it to change dimension i will now crop it to change the dimension so that's just the rule or the trick if you are using from camera 
so you snap directly and that's all but this one this is the last it looks like a magic a magic stick or something like a disco light so that one is just for you to set the background effect can you see so as we move on we explain brightness depending on how you want it you use saturation contrast and stripes or noise as you want your design as you want it to be so it is just for you to add effect to your design so in quick minutes i've explained all these tabs and icons that you can find on pixel Lab. so our next tutorial we explain to you how to go about layers uh backgrounds and other things like that